Feature Cam 2016 R2 enables you to generate an easy to read HTML document that describes the functionality of the currently loaded POSE processor. You are able to add information into this document by either editing the POSE processor or by editing the HTML template. You are also able to add machine images and schematics by placing an image within the same directory as the loaded POSE processor. Now in this current example, I've not loaded an FM file, instead I've just created a new Turnmill document and I've simply loaded in a Turnmill post processor. Now if I select that post in the bottom right hand corner and choose to edit that, we can go to File, Document CNC, HTML and we can see the new option to generate HTML documentation with a template. So if I go ahead and select that, by default it chooses a location where the currently loaded post processor is saved. So I can go ahead and save my HTML document in that folder location. I'm just going to open that folder location, double click on the HTML and we can see we have a comprehensive document in an easy to read format which details how the currently loaded post processor has been configured by the post author with a variety of different information and we can easily and quickly see which cycles and codes are supported and not supported within this post processor. Now we're able to add to this particular document. Firstly if we want to add images we can simply drag and drop them in the same location as our output HTML. So I'm going to copy to uh, JPEG images and then go back into this posts folder and place those within there like so. If I go back into the post processor itself what you'll notice under post variable names is we have a new area where we can create a user visible comment. So I'm going to go ahead and create two new post variables along with an associated comment for each of the post variables. So I'm going to say part number of the component and then select post variable 2 and we're just going to input the user visible name as programmer and choose to include first and last name. Another way we can add to the output HTML document is from within any of the formats. In this case I'm going to simply create a new custom format and call that HTML doc. The way I can output information is by using our comment line followed by DOC. We can then choose the title in which our information is going to be output in. So here I'm going to choose general info and this is going to act as a prompt for the user required information and then I'm going to have a subtitle to see post variables. I'm also going to add some information to the transfer support so I'm going to create a new title Call this cutoff transfer. And specify that that is fully supported. So I'm going to go ahead and just save this format. And I'm going to save this as a new CNC file. Just call this underscore HTML. You can see that's loaded. And I can go ahead once again choose the document CNC and under the HTML tab choose HTML with template. I'm just going to override the existing one within the current directory and once again I can just close off reopen that folder location and we can have a look at the new output document. So in this case from our images uh, we can see we've got an image of the machine tool itself along with uh, a schematic. Under general information we added the uh, subtitle required information to see post variables. 
and then as we come down towards the bottom of the document what we can see is according to the post variables that we added we have the user visible name as well as the user visible comment and finally we added some information regarding the transfers that in fact the cutoff transfer is fully supported.